Hi, my name is Sister Elizabeth Miles. I'm a religious sister from the congregation Servants of Mary Ministers to the Sick. Uh, we have three communities here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. I'm from our community in Los Angeles. We also have uh, Newberry Park, California, where our nursing home is, Mary Health of the Sick. And we also have a community in Oxnard, California. And that is our formation house on Novitian. So when young women enter with us, they will enter there and start their formation in our Oxnard community. Um, before I say anything else, I just want to wish everyone a happy feast day as we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady, Queen of the Angels, patroness of our Archdiocese of Los Angeles. She is queen and mother of us all. Uh, thanks be to God for such a great gift as Mary, as our mother and queen, and all the angels, our guardian angels and the angels who continue to guide us and protect us in our lives. So thanks be to God. Um, I wanted to share some thoughts with you on the optional gospel reading for today's Feast of Our Queen, uh, the Angels. Uh, and it is taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. It's the Annunciation. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. When I was reflecting on this reading, Mary's faith and her obedience stood out. A woman of great faith and obedient. But it wasn't a blind obedience. It was because you see that she had a spirit of discernment. When she asked the angel Gabriel, how can this be since I don't know a man? I've had no relations with a man. So she had a desire to understand and to know God's will and his plan in her life. But even though she didn't fully understand what was going on and how it was going to work out, she still said yes. It didn't stop her from saying yes to what God was asking of her. I remember when I was discerning my own vocation and I would think, you know, I didn't know 100% that I was called to be a consecrated religious, but I knew inside myself that I didn't want to be an old woman looking back and say, what if? Was God calling me and I didn't answer? It's in finding God's will for your life, 
whatever that is, married life, priesthood, consecrated religious sister or brother, um, single in the world, giving your gifts and talents to the church, evangelizing, whatever your vocation is, it's in finding what you, what God really wants in your, for you in your life and following it, that you will experience the fullness of joy possible in this life and bring the greatest glory to God. The church needs us. Our mother, the church, needs us to find our vocations and to follow with all our heart and soul. Don't be afraid. And if you are afraid, keep giving your fears to our Blessed Mother. She will take your fears and she will work with them as she continues to guide you to her son and his will for your life. It's all about trust. So we have to pray for it. We have to ask for it. But we also have to believe that nothing is impossible for our God. So be assured that we are praying for you. All of you out there, men and women who are discerning, trying to find God's will in your life. Because God will not force you. He invites you. And it's in that vocation, because everyone, no matter what your vocation is, is called to be a saint. And it's in that vocation, you will find the holiness. It is the means God will use to make you the saint that you are called to be. We are in this together. Be assured, we are praying for all of you. And please pray for all priests, deacons, religious, married couples, all of us who are following God's will in our lives, who have, have found that vocation, that we be faithful. So together, we are a church. We are a family. So be assured. Be assured that you are not alone. Happy feast day. God bless you.